Hello everyone. In this module, we are going to understand rake receiver. Often, students feel difficulty in rake receiver. They are unable to understand the exact meaning of rake receiver construction, working, and the system complexity and the implementation of the rake receiver. In this module, we are going to cover all these things in very detailed manner. Before we actually begin, let's try to understand the name rake receiver. The literal meaning of rake is to collect or gather. In simple terms, we can say a rake receiver has a number of receivers and uh, it is uh, collecting different components of the signal via different paths. It is definitely based on multipath. We are going to explain now. In this module, we are going to learn multipath fading rake introduction how does it works role of rake receiver block diagram use advantage disadvantage and definitely we are going to conclude it now the most fundamental question the very uh, important integral part of rake receiver is multipath fading when rf signal arrives at the destination via different paths it leads to multipath here we have transmitter we have receiver and a number of components of signal is uh, being at receiver side via different paths now we have uh, multipath propagation from uh, these following parts a b and c and d Multipath occurs when RF signal arrives at the destination via different paths due to reflected transmitted signal from moving or fixed objects. The rake receiver uses multipath diversity principle in order to achieve the entire functionality of the system. Rake receiver uses multipath diversity principle. We have number of uh, components via different paths. It takes the energy from the multipath propagated signal. A receiver is here, and uh, we have scattered or reflected signals from tall buildings, from fixed or moving objects. Now, what rake receiver is? What is rake receiver? The most fundamental question which must be dealt very carefully a rake receiver is a radio receiver designed to counter the effect of multipath fading here we are going to overcome the problem of multipath fading several sub receivers called fingers are used fingers are in, uh, simply receivers and we are going here using number of uh, receivers so it is sub receivers uh, rake receiver rake receiver attempts to collect the time shifted version of the original signal by providing a separate correlation receiver for each of the multipath signals before i actual before i explain this diagram uh, first look at simplified block diagram of m branch rake receiver here it, it, this is the message signal which needs to be transmitted from one end to uh, receiver end we have number of components of signals m1 m2 m3 m4 to mn we are, here we are using number of correlators in, or, in order to achieve time shifted version of the signal. Now we have integrator. Sorry, this is uh, adder and this is integrator. And it is comparator. Let's move to initial block diagram. This block diagram is quite complex but this gives us the better picture of rake receiver. Here we have uh, finger 1, It is these all fingers are receivers, finger 2 and finger 3. 
now we have correlator correlator uh, correlates the signal and it is achieved by code generator we have phase rotator in order to generate time shifted version of the signal we have equalizer and we have comparator and we will get time shifted version of this signal at receiver end here the higher the package the here the higher the package we are providing preference to that particular signal suppose uh, finger one has uh, highest peak or the value is high we will send it uh, to correlator earlier now the fundamental question is how does rake receiver works the working of rake receiver the output of each correlator are weighted to provide better estimate of the transmitted signal that provide that provided by a single component demodulation is then based on the weighted output of m correlator role of rack receiver in wireless communication we have number of applications of rack receiver we find a wide variety of applications in mobile communication in satellite communication and um, obviously in nanotechnology we also use rack receiver so the role of rack receiver it equalizes the effect of multi path spread out the individual echo signal of the multi path each signal is then delayed accordingly to the peaks found in the receiver signal earlier we have seen the concept of peak uh, this is the diagram so what it says each signal is then delayed according to peaks found in the receiver signal we have uh, three co uh, columns use of rack receiver advantage of rack receiver disadvantage of rack receiver so rack receiver is used in cdma and w cdma radio devices mobile phone and wireless lan w cdma stands for wireless code division uh, multiple access and cdma stands for code division multiple access in radio stream astronomy we also use rack receiver A advantage of rack receiver it improves the signal to noise ratio and definitely we gain uh, better performance disadvantage of rack receiver we can simply uh, try to recall all those things cost is going to increase because of number of sub receivers size of system is also increased because of correlator phase shifter code generator comparator and correlator and definitely in last we have a complex circuit in this module we learned rack receiver is used in cdma and wcdma as an effect efficient way of multi path signal reception where several receptors are able to reconstruct the signal with different time code amplitude and phase this is the fundamental concept with different time codes amplitude and phase